It's the third day, and uh, it's a slow start so far this morning. Found it an evening and one whole day, and I've seen a decent amount of deer. One really nice buck yesterday. I ended up, I ended up waiting for him where I thought he had gone into bed and sure enough I was pretty close. He came out you know, maybe a, a hundred yards, just ruddy, thick neck, all shoulders. I wasn't in a good spot. We'll find another one. Just spotted the first deer of the morning. Uh, the fourth day afternoon of the fourth day we came to a it's a completely new area I've never hunted here before um, I've looked at it on a map not this basin we're looking at but just over the ridge I've looked at a map a few times that's not what I was hoping this looks pretty good actually <coughs> it is hot though full sun we're out here kind of early but walking in there was a doe standing right on top of the ridge just middle of the day driving in we saw a handful of deer down before we hit the national forest line just standing you know in the in the mesquite right off the road feeding This is a little bit of a smaller open basin, um, but it's scrubbier. Like it's more, it feels more desert than grassland. Where we've been hunting is very much grassland. This feels much more desert. It's drier. There's more yucca, much less grass. But there's a pond in the bottom, so there's water. There's cows in here. Moo cows, not cows deer. There's moo cows, so that means there's enough feed. And there are cows deer, coos deer. Because we saw one doe already. But we've been getting our butts kicked. <clears throat> it's a tough year. The grass is very tall and very noisy, and it hides the cat claws. And then you hit the cat claws and drag through those and make noise. And we've been, we've been seeing quite a few deer, quite a few bucks, good bucks. But man, glassing and stalking and walking and glassing and walking and walking and glassing. And every time we try to make a stalk, it's almost like a joke with how loud it is. Even with my boots off, it's loud. So, we thought we'd try somewhere that might be a little more huntable. This is, I don't know. This might fit the bill. We'll see. Well, yesterday was a bust. Nothing but a bunch of does. So, got a day and a half left. I saw a buck. It's probably the most killable buck we've seen yesterday morning. He was just well over a mile away. 
when I saw him and he was just, it was too far to go in too short a time. He did exactly what I thought though. So, I'm crazy to think it, but I'm hoping he does the same thing today. <laughs> can't even, I can't even. <laughs> And in case you thought it was a doe, you were wrong. It is the world's smallest coos deer. Oh my gosh. I had completely given up. Completely gave up after this morning. Didn't see shit. Heading back to camp to go quail hunting. And was trucking along this ridge. And this little guy stood up and was like at 30 yards. And I pulled my rangefinder. and I'm like, those are spikes. <laughs> Unbelievable. 